Okay, I think we're live. Hello, hello, hello. If you are watching the stream after it is already up, I will have timestamps for you. As always, I have a couple of quick things to do to set up stream. I feel like my bangs are like really banging <laughs> today. Like they feel like a very full bang at the moment. I wish um I wish I'd blow dried them a little bit wispier, like more off to the side, but alas. I feel like I need to sneeze also but it's just like caught in my throat. Caught in my throat, caught in my nose. I don't know what's going on. It's been a very long day. It's been a very long week, month. It's been a long year. October just started. Okay. This is so weird. YouTube has changed their um, their monetization process on live streams. And sorry, I'm not even reading chat yet. I'm I'm like trying to figure this out currently. Okay, am I good? Am I good? It's weird that streams are. Oh God, there's already like three hundred of you. Hello, sorry. Hi, how are you? How's it going? How we doing? Hello, friends. Welcome to the stream. Bumblebee uh, Z. Bumblebee Z. <laughs> Thanks for modding. What lip gloss am I wearing? It looks incredible. I'm wearing the, I don't have it on me, um, the Too Faced Lip Injections over this like YSL like balm lipstick guy. I'm very into my my lippy glasses today today lately the brain's not doing great um i really and truly only have the mental capacity to show up for you today and stream some life of luxury that's all i can offer it, it is either that or nothing at all and i feel fine about that because I'm just like so mentally and emotionally drained today that I was thinking like, oh, do I stream? Do I skip it? Whatever. But this has become such a like like an important part of my routine. I feel like it really helps me feel like, I don't know, like it really helps me get a sense of time and like the, the week is truly over after I've streamed. Um, so I wanted to show up. And I showed up, baby. Show up, I did. But it's life or luxury, or life of luxury or nothing. Hello. Stream just started, everybody. Hi. Monica Lewinsky. Spooky, scary skeletons. Happy Halloween first. Thank you so much for the super chat, Angel. I love you so much. Hello to all of our wonderful, oh my God, you guys talking about the bangs, banging. Thanks, thanks. I really do just love a bang, but I feel like they're so much easier to maintain when you have short hair. Like when my hair was long, I like, I had bangs off and on, um, but they're so annoying when you have a lot of hair. When you have short hair, they just feel like they flow no matter what. They never really look busted or bad. Like today, I just could not get them to blow dry in a way that made sense. And I still think they look fine. They're just kind of annoying me. <laughs> um. boop, boop, boop. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Normie. Thank you for... Putting rules in chat, let me pin those. I just can't decide what I wanna do. If I just wanna give up and like have a little center part or if I just wanna keep zhuzhing them until I feel like they make sense. I should stop touching them really, but especially cause I washed my hair today. All right, I'm gonna leave them alone. Oh my god, wait, guys, I meant to say this when I came in, but they changed 
the playlist, the stream playlist that I always put on every, why does Smurfafine look like that? I've, I, why can't I figure out which direction to point in? <laughs> the mirrored image thing, sorry, really throws me for a loop sometimes. Um, but yeah, why does Smurfafine look like that? She's never looked more like a real baby and she's never looked more done with me. I've never been more convinced that she's haunted than I am in this moment. What the hell? Um, what was I just saying? Oh, there was something I was saying. I don't remember now. Oh yeah, they changed our playlist that we always listen to. And now it's like new and exciting and we're rediscovering, stop touching your bags. Stop touching your bangs. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Hi, Blue Mind. Kylantis, Sunday church. Let's go, baby. Welcome to Sunday service, my angel. Today's, oh my God. Today's sermon is on life of luxury, and I swear I'm going to stop knocking into the mic. Onyx Craft, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Lily, you look so beautiful today. I love your streams, literally my favorite day of the week. I'm so glad I streamed. I'm so glad I did not get, let the funk get me down. I'm glad I made my little shot of espresso with my new pumpkin spice creamer that I got in from Target, and I'm glad that we're just going to stream. I have to fix my bangs. I'm sorry, I have to do it. I'm so sorry. I just, like, I need them to decide on a direction. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's that's fine. Stop touching them. That's fine. It's fine. It's literally fine. Wish I'd brought my brush. Normally they're just a little bit wispier. You know? Today I feel like they kind of kind of clumped. Middle part slays, says the says the people, says Clowny. <laughs> I love you, Onyx Craft. Thanks, Kim. Zoe, happy three months, spooky time. Megan, uh, Megan, sorry, Morgan C. Lowy, tomorrow's my birthday, so happy you're live. Happy early birthday, Morgan. I'm glad that we got to stream so I could tell you happy early birthday. I love you so much. Susie, no! Susie. Susie! What the heck are you doing, Susie? Thank you for modding and thank you, oh my God, for the five gifted. I love you so much. Thank you for five gifted to the community. That's so nice. If you end up getting a, um, a membership tonight or any time, of course, to the channel, just remember you have your members only videos. I just posted my members video uh, where I showed like everything that I bought while I was in Japan, which was really, really, really fun. So if you want to see like a 20 minute Japan haul, that's up for you. And there are other members only videos. So make sure to check that out. Sometimes I think people get memberships and they don't even know that there's like a whole member side to my channel so check it out check it out um so true monica Lewinsky. sundays are the best ali you thanks so much for the um for the super chat hello beautiful hope you're doing amazing i hope your fur baby is uh healing wonderfully and doing good so happy to get to hang out with you tonight he's actually doing great riley has been off of cone duty except for night when I truly cannot be near him and I don't know when he's licking and like he needs to be confined he's not under he's not on bed rest anymore um he's getting another bandage change this week and it might be the last one and then we get to start part two of his his cancer journey but that's okay because that means the first hurdle is over um so yeah he's healing really really well um we Went for a walkie today. Our walkies are getting a little bit longer and longer every single day, which is fun. But thank you so much for the well wishes for him. Evie, dear, I'm so glad you're out of the hospital and here for stream. I hope you're feeling okay, friend. I love you so much. I'm so happy you're here. Susie, thanks again for the five gifted. I love you very much. It's very sweet of you. Never do it again. <laughs> Never ever. Thank you so much for uh, joining the love bug tier, Haley Sharp. I appreciate that very much. I have a dog hair in my lip gloss. Okay. 
I got the dog hair out of my lip gloss. You know what other lip gloss I actually like really like a ton? Again, I've been very into lip gloss lately. I think that it's because I haven't been doing like a full face of makeup at all. That's I really would love to get back into wearing makeup regularly, but I just like cannot do it right now. Um, I'd rather show up makeup less than not show up at all. But I love these long comb juicy tubes. They did send these to me. They sent me a bunch of them. And I was like, oh, I used to use those in like ele elementary school. What? I was not getting long comb makeup in elementary school. But I definitely used to get the lip glosses that like my mom would get in those gift with purchases from long comb or something. Or like my grandma or something. People would always give me these like in middle school, high school. And I remember loving them. And I was like, maybe they won't be that good. Like, I know that this is an older product. They're amazing. Look how glossy. Look how glossy. I love a glossy, glossy gloss. And it's not sticky, which is really nice. Um, thanks again, Haley Sharp, for joining Love Bug Tier. I love you. I need to get back to my Love Bug lounges, hopefully this week. Why are we making Normie cry? Don't make no wait. Don't make Normie cry. Oh, wait, are we making Romy cry? Why are we making Romy cry? Oh, no, we're making Normie cry. Okay, yeah, don't make Normie cry. <laughs> Follow the rules. Don't make Normie cry. <laughs> Kate, hi. Thank you so much for this super chat, Kate Luxer. Hi, Loey. Love the bangs. Glad to hear Riley's doing better. You and me both, sister. It has been just such a relief to know that he's doing well. It really has just been like such a weight off my shoulders to know that he's actually healing. It was it was sort of spooky because, you know, he's an old man and he didn't heal at the rate that everybody online says he should have healed at and even the vets thought that he should heal at. You know, he's like this 100, he's like 105 pound dog and he's almost 14. I actually have no idea when he turns 14, but I, I'll call him 14 in the new year because that's just how I've been judging his age since I got him, since I, sorry. <laughs> Should I do ASMR plucking dog hair off of my mic? Sorry. There's like just this mat, do you see it? It's on this side, okay. Okay, okay, that helps me. Oh yeah, big ass dog hair. Still didn't get it. There's so many big ass dog hairs. <laughs> I literally lint rolled this thing before I started. We're in the middle of shedding season, though. I'm going to leave it alone. Um, but yeah, oh my God. Speaking of shedding season, I have this like dog brush vacuum. Everyone and their mother recommended it to me. I got it on Amazon. I should link it in my storefront or something. Um, but I have this like dog grooming vacuum. And I sat there with the dogs with it last night and I probably filled up the vacuum like five times and still I got Riley, I would say 80% cleaned up. Maka hasn't started shedding yet because she's like part pit. I think her fur just sheds at a different time for some reason than the other dogs. And it's a completely different shedding process than like Riley or Hades who are a lot more husky. Like Riley's definitely mixed with something, but um. Yeah, I literally sat there for hours last night just brushing and brushing and vacuuming. And <laughs> and then Annie will walk up and she's like, she wants to join in on the fun. And I'm like, girl, I will vacuum you. But you are a beautiful hypoallergenic creature and you just don't shed. So Allie, thank you so much for your super chat. I'm so happy to hear that he's doing better. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Blue Mine, top of the evening to you. I'm so pumped tonight to spend a good time with you. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Love and light to you. I'm trying my best, Blue Mind, as always. Love you so very much. Thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for hanging. Loey has invented a new ASMR plucking fur out of the microphone. Uh, ASMR, you are um, an object in my home with three huskies. And that's, that's the entire concept for the video. Speaking of hairs, oh my God. I have just been vacuuming and sweeping and vacuuming and sweeping. Like I swept this entire room before I started. Oh. I've also been, um, I don't know if any of you who also have dogs that just shed like crazy if you do this, but like I have blankets on absolutely every surface of my home. Like I have blankets on every single couch on like their dog beds and stuff because it's an easy way for me to take them out back, shake out the fur and then throw them into the washer, throw them into the dryer and just be done with it. And I have been washing blankets like every other day since I, since I got home from Japan. 
Ugh. We have a hound mix. Uh, this is from Kate. We have a hound mix short hair, of course, and she sheds like crazy. Dude, short hair shedding sounds even worse to me because when my cat, um, Carson is really the only, all right, I'm giving up middle part it is. Um, Carson's really my only cat that really like, well, fine. Haunter sheds a little bit. Haunter's like a long haired cat, but like Haunter really has to be brushed like quite frequently. Oh no, I can't. Sorry. My, my forehead is too shiny. I would want to put powder on my forehead to um hi everyone who's here for their first ever live welcome welcome um i'm rambling about my dog shedding but stop touching your things stop touching them <laughs> um i was i was rambling about the dog shedding i don't remember what i was saying but yeah lots of lots of upkeep to the house and it's still just more and more and more hair. Ooh, Lindsay said mine is a wire haired chihuahua mix of some sort. And he sheds awfully. Jeez. God. Oh, yeah. I was saying Carson sheds. Oh, my God. When Carson sheds, it's awful because you can't get the hair off of anything. Like, it's so, like, tiny and short that I feel like it just sticks to stuff. And, like, with my Huskies fur, I can vacuum. I can, like, um, I can vacuum it. I can, like lint roll it do whatever but carson's hair when he starts shedding it's so annoying it's so annoying it just sticks on everything and it never comes off thank you Susie. thank you guys thank you for saying that they're slay i don't know why i can't i don't you know it's always really funny whenever i feel like i'm having a really bad bang day i'm actually having a really good one hi ann hi sweet baby yeah the door is closed mm-hmm it is closed, but I love you. I hope you can hear me. Can you figure out how to get over here? Oh my God, wait, she's figuring it out. Oh my God, wait. Hi, mommy. Hi, good job. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You need to get groomed and you're going to get groomed this week. Your groomer is going to come to the house and she's going to groom you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have a pretty little haircut. And she's going to make you look so clean. Bless you. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you're very furry right now. You also are going to go get your allergy shots this week, I think. Yes, yes. Not everything is about macas all the time. You smell so bad. I'm so excited for you to get a bath. Because you stink. Let's not let's not fight with each other, please. Not on today. <laughs> not on a Sunday, okay? Jolene said, thanks for streaming pretty. Today has felt nine years long, and I appreciate the fun distraction of hanging out with you and ignoring my work. Always, Jolene. Always here for you. I love you, too. I'm glad that you made it tonight. Okay. But this is why the doors have to get closed, remember? Because you guys come in here. Well, because there can't be one of you. If there was just one of you who would come in here and say hello, that would be fine. But there never is. It's all. It's got to be all of you all the time. And the others are pissed because they're... Uh, Hades is like an 85-pound dog. Maka is like a 50-something like a pound dog. And they can't sit in mom's lap. It's Okay. Well, I love our visits. I love our visits, Chunky. Did you have a good time on our walk today? Did you have a good time? Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Why does she look like that? Okay. You wanna say hi to the people? They're right up there. Tell them hi. Give them a little kiss. Give them a little baby kiss. Oh, thank you, mama. Ren said, oh, hey, Ren. Missed a ton of streams. Sorry, but I'm glad I'm back. Anyway, happy spooky month. So excited. Also love the bangs, Loey. Thank you so much, Ren. Love you so much. I'm glad you're here. Raccoon Boy Live. Oh, my God. Some blast from the past. Welcome, guys. Haley wants me to give you a hug. Is that okay? Do you want a hug? Come here. Do you want a hug? Okay. Little hug for the baby. Little hug for the... Carson, why are you out here? I literally put all the dogs 
uh, all the cats rather in their bedroom before I started. I don't know how Carson managed to stay out here. I must have just missed him. But Ren and Raccoon Boy Live, welcome, welcome. Glad you guys made it. Love you so much. Amanda, thanks for five months. Lovey, 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 my love. Amanda, 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 my love. Kay, I'm sorry you've had a tough week. Thank you so much for three months, and I love you so much. I'm so glad that you're here for tonight's live. Also, Salem, welcome to the channel memberships. I said it earlier, but make sure if you join the memberships tonight or anytime um, that you check out the members only playlist because we have. You look, you look so insane. You look so crazy. You, you look like an absolutely insane animal. Your ancestors were wolves. Your ancestors were wolves and had to fight for survival in the wilderness. And you are so obsessed with your tennis ball that you look like a crazy person every time that it comes to you. <laughs> oh, you can see how pretty his coat looks right now, though, because he got brushed for so long last night. Hades is a horrifying smile, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a new um. Hey. Oh, do you have a ball too? Oh my God, Maka never plays. Give me the ball. Give it to me. Give me that ball, girl. Give me that ball, girl. Wow, that was cr wow. That was crazy. I know you literally just heard the pitter patter of her little paws down there, but she never plays. Playful queen. Um, if you join the channel memberships tonight, I did just post my September members only video, uh, getting caught back up finally. And uh, it's a Japan haul. It's everything that I bought while I was in Japan and it's not gonna be posted anywhere else. So make sure to check that out if you wanna see what I picked up. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love this ball. Can you come here? Can you come up here? So the, oh my God! I love this ball, girl. Oh, you got it? Sorry, I was gonna throw it for you. I'm so surprised. Why did you do this to it? Why is it gone, Gabe? Okay, you did it. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Hades got it, because I threw it too fast and I threw it too far. Hades, here, look, Hades. Come here. <laughs> Sorry, my hair, or my hair, my chair is already destroyed from the cats. It's absolutely insane. I need to find something to spray on my furniture. My cats don't really do this to my like couches and stuff because I've told them no a million times. Um, but I haven't gotten a new piece of furniture like this in a long time, like a, like a chair or something. They are just to bits. Scratching that shit up. Um... Anna Louise, I can't think of a better way to start spooky season than with you and some good old life of luxury. Happy spooky season. Happy Halloween first, baby. I love you so much. Thanks for being here, Anna. Pickle Rick. Oh my God, he turned himself into a pickle. Rick, eight. <laughs> Not eight. I mean, eight. Like eight. Like, like eight. Wow, it is a full freaking zoo in here. Carson, you look really cool right now in the lighting. This is why sometimes I feel bad about like closing off my office completely because I know that you guys love seeing them so much. <laughs> what is he doing? Ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Whoa, that was impressive. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Um, but Pickle Rick A asks, what's the secret to styling your bangs? Love you. I love you. Uh, my current go-to is I just take a round brush and I blow out my bangs, I curl the brush under. So the brush would almost be like a curling iron. So they're going under like that. And then I just blow dry the bangs for um, a minute. Hi. Hi, old man. Hello. I didn't even see you come in. Oh my goodness. You guys can't really see him, but there's a Riley down here. You might hear him clip clapping around. I'll probably end up closing off the office when um. Oh, I'm so sorry. I let you catch it. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I 
was trying to explain something to someone with my dogs the other day. They were like, I can't believe you have that many dogs. Are they not like super exhausting? And I'm like, no, they're all old. Hades is seven. Get it, Riley. Get it, Riley. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He got the tennis ball. <laughs> But yeah, I take a round brush. I blow dry the bangs. Um, I used to flat iron them as well. I would like do the same thing, like curl them inward. But um, in, an, in an attempt to stop killing my hair, I haven't been using heat products at all. Um, when I traveled to Japan, all I took was a brush and I just prayed that there would be a blow dryer. And there was at every hotel. Love how all dogs sound like they're tap dancing, especially Riley. He's got one heel because he's on a, a stint. So... Angie, thanks for being here. Oh my God, dog hair. Angie Cardona. <laughs> I love how they all come in here. I take a single sip of coffee and I'm like, ooh, dog hair in my mouth. You guys can probably see like a like a little cloud flying around. Sorry, Jax, I'm not trying to scare you. Um, I actually hung curtains above my windows because I know they freak out so many people. They literally just face my neighbor's house and nothing else. Um, but every single time that I have, they've come off the wall for some reason. Maybe I need to get new command strips. Like maybe my command strip tape is just old now, like the, the ones I haven't used because they're not sticking. Like the command hooks just keep coming off the wall. But please don't be scared. We're fine. <laughs> oh my god, Cheesecake Panda Cosplay! Thanks for 32 months! I'm so happy you're here watching Loi and working on Welcome Home Cosplay! I love, I love, I should really do a Welcome Home Cosplay for Halloween. I really, really, really think I should. After Bert and Ernie that Eleanor and I just did, a lot of people were like, Oh my god, I thought you were Welcome Home characters. Um, and now I just think that has to happen, you know? Oh my goodness, he's so handsome. Hello, King. Their water fountain broke, so now it's actually just a water bowl. There's been a bit of protesting. Hey, Gorge, where's your ball? Where's your toy? Where's your toy, sir? Thank you, Riley. Um, Fawn, welcome to the channel membership. Suey Doobie, thanks for three months. I love you. And then Fawn said, happy Sunday, babe. Always happy when I can catch a stream and don't have to work in the morning. I'm so glad you made it. Thanks for popping in tonight. And thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Colin the Umbreon, thanks for two months. You never fail to make me better. feel better, Loey. You never make me, you never fail to make me feel better, Colin. I can't talk. I love you very much. It's always a pleasure to see you in here. Thank you very, very much for being here. Static. <laughs> Static has been trying to get me to cause. Okay, but uh, Static, first and foremost, take your money back. But also, what what are you saying exactly? Like, are you asking me to cosplay as the game Apex Legends? Like, are you asking me to put on like a big cardboard monitor and then have just like Apex Legends? Like, do you want me to walk around as like a living, breathing Apex Legends game? Do you want me to cosplay someone in particular? I need more direction. I like what you're doing here and I am easily influenced, but if you could just tell me a sexy, sexy person to cosplay, you will get, you'll get results. You'll just get results. Just tell me what to do. Static, I need to tell you about the time that a guy told me about Apex Legends for the entirety of our first date. <laughs> Just like talked about Apex Legends for like the entirety of my first date. Well, I still have dog hair in my mouth, but what am I supposed to do here, Static? Like, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? I'm not. I'm not. You're supposed to tell me. Thank you. Cheesecake, I'll get to you in a second. Sorry. Monica Lewinsky said static being vague as fuck for $500, Alex. That's so real. That's so true. Sorry, am I screaming? Am I screaming? Wow, there's a whole zoo in here. I always forget how much they end up coming in here and hanging out when I'm 
streaming. They they definitely don't like they're not this active if I'm just like at my computer playing and usually well lately. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to talk to Cheesecake Cosplay real quick. Cheesecake Panda Cosplay. And then we need to we It's time to get serious. Okay? We have to have a very serious conversation about Baldur's Gate 3. We have to have a serious conversation about Baldur's Gate 3. This is a first date, and I am the guy who info dumped on me for like an hour and a half of a first date about Apex Legends, except it's Baldur's Gate 3. Hold on. Cheesecake Panda Cosplay said, uh, do it for Welcome Home Cosplay. I can see you being Julie! Wait! Oh my god, I could do Julie! Oh my god, I could do Julie. Julie, my beloved. Okay, um, but Cheesecake Panda is working. I think that means New York Comic Con. So my friend and I are being Wally and Barnaby one day. Ah, I can't wait. Oh my god, please send me pictures. Please, 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 please. Like anywhere, I, I will be on the lookout for them. That's so fun. Okay. All right, all right, all right. You know those Britney Broski TikToks that go around and every single one of them is her talking about how she needs to be like, how she needs to be like lobotomized, like put down over how thirsty she is over a bunch of pixels, over a pixelated man. I definitely have felt that so many times in my life. Like I, I've had many, 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 many a fictional man like obsession, right? And women, like, every kind of character you can imagine. Please don't step on your sister. She's going to get really pissed. Um, oh, my goodness. Hello, Bubby. Can you tell my tone change when Riley comes in the room? When Riley comes in, I'm just like, it's like with these two, I'm like, oh, you guys are nuts. You're absolutely insane. There's something wrong with you. And then Riley comes in the room, and I'm just rainbows and sunshine and he's a little daisy okay Hades thank you so much that's a great spot for your ball I really appreciate that yeah good good job why does it look like this which one of you did it like when I played when I played fire emblem three houses for the first time I was not good. I was like deeply unwell. The entire, I, I can't believe I'm talking about Fire Emblem Three Houses in a way that's even remotely normal. The way that I've never talked about it online, except for like tweets and stuff, because I could not be normal about the characters in that game for years. And honestly, they didn't make it easy for me to move on because Fire Emblem Three Houses came out and then they released another story in Three Hopes with the exact same characters. Don't look. I love you so much. You're a beautiful, handsome man. Um, favorite child, Riley. It's not even close, Kate. Like, the others fully know it, too. <laughs> they all know that he's my favorite. Yeah. They know. They know. And you're so big and so handsome, and I love you so much. I do. Wait, I have to show you him. Because you're never going to be able to see him on camera. He's just such a... Hey, can you look? Can you look at me? Because you look so sweet. You look so sweet. Like... This is what he does. This is just what he looks like. All the like, what am I supposed to do about that? Look at him! I love him so much. Oh my god, it looks cute even when it's all like blown out. Ah! He's so cute. Um, but. I was obsessed with Fire Emblem Three Houses. Obsessed, like deeply obsessed. And I, my first ever route on Fire Emblem Three Houses, if you ever played that game, was the Golden Deer. I fell in love with Claude. In love with, Cla I can't get it, whatever. In love, I fell in love with that man. I was obsessed with him. And then the DLC came out and then I fell in love with Yuri. And then I played every single... Hades, I'm not going to throw the ball for you just because you put multiple back here. No. Sit down. Thank you. I think that's enough. I think that you can't be responsible. You can't be responsible. We talked about this. Is your mouth bleeding? Here. Let me see you. Hold on. Oh, no, it's not. Your gums look kind of red. Get down. Thank you. 
Yeah. Thank you. Um. But Claude, Claude, and then the, the DLC came out, and then it was Yuri, and I was obsessed, and I played every single route you could, and I just I had so many anime boyfriends during that moment in time. I Felix, um, Ferdinand, Sylvain, uh, Dimitri. Claude, like, there was no lack. I was on Etsy every two days buying plushies. Of, please don't lick my armpit. That's so weird of you to do. Please stop. <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm talking about my anime thirst traps. So obsessed. Like, deeply, deeply unwell the entire time that I was playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. The voice acting in that game, oh, so good. And then same with Three Hopes. Just continued my love affair of all of them and um i haven't really felt like i fell back into um into uh an obsession with a game like that since fire emblem three houses Be because because because, oh my god, Ash, my blue lions, baby. Um, because, like, while I did really love the romance portion of Fire... Oh, sorry, I need to read Inez's um, super chat as well. Okay, Inez, hi, baby. Thank you so much for the super chat. Let me get to your questions after I ramble about hot anime man. So, <laughs> I have not found that much of, like, an obsession um with with a game with like any kind of ip sense mystic messenger was like that too for me though uh what is that who's that from K kanima kanima hammonds like i was really into mystic messenger but i was into fire emblem three houses okay haven't felt like that about anything since and then i started playing Baldur's gate three and then I started playing Baldur's Gate 3. And then I started to play this little video game, maybe you've heard of it, called Baldur's Gate 3. And I just, I knew that I was not going to be well. I really knew that I wasn't going to be well. I knew that I probably could not trust myself to like, to dive back into a world as immersive as that is. I have been rotting for days, just fully immersed in the world of Baldur's Gate 3. I can't get away from it. My entire TikTok timeline, my entire TikTok for you page is nothing but a starian thirst traps because every single time that I see them, I like them, I favorite them, I download them, I send them to absolutely anyone who will listen. And then I go on with my life and then there's another one and then I do it again and then I do it again and then I do it again. So I want to talk a little bit about Baldur's Gate 3 romance because it's really juicy, okay? First and foremost, if you've never really heard of or played Baldur's Gate 3, I feel like I should be giving you visuals. I feel like I should be giving you visuals to look at. Really quickly, I'm going to read Inez's super chat so I don't skip it. Questions of the day. What can we expect this spooky season from you? Um, you can expect a lot of videos, a lot more of my Japan adventures specifically. There's going to be like a Japan video a week, um, pretty much all month, I think, except for the the week of Halloween because I'll be out of footage. Um, but you can expect a lot of my Japan content, which will be really, really great. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> um, but you can also expect a lot of like scary TikToks, a lot of streams. I'm thinking about like adding in a non scary stream day every week and keeping Sundays as like my scary, like my scream stream Sundays, but maybe adding in more. Hades, honey, you have to stop. You have to stop. It was cute and now it's gotten to be a little bit much and now you look a little silly. But it's okay and I support you. But a lot of scary stuff, a lot of costume videos. Um, I may or may not be already doing a really cool Halloween collab that you guys are seeing uh, like within the next week with a brand that I absolutely love and I know you guys love and it's a very cool Halloween sponsorship. Um, but it's also like 
content it's hard to explain it's hard to explain you guys are really gonna love it it doesn't feel like like oh here's just like a sponsored piece of media like it's going to be a very cool thing that i'm doing what are you looking at we went on a walk today and a car drove past and he pointed like he pulled up his little paw i have a photo hold on do you want to see it he pointed at it he's so weird Sweetie, I'm going to have to put you out of this room. I, okay, you can't really tell. You can just see he had picked up his paw. But, like, he started doing this, I want to say, like, maybe a couple of weeks ago. He started pointing, like, lifting up his little paw when cars went by. And I think it's so funny. He's a funny dog. How was Century's birthday? Fabulous matching red outfits. Thank you. That photo was actually from the streamies. Um, but her birthday was great. We had like an ultimate fall day. It was really, really fun. It was good to celebrate her all day. And we had just like a really, just a good time. It was really cute. And also Zyna, thanks for 23 months. Loey, I'm glad to see you after a crappy day. I'm so happy you're here. Okay. I feel like I should be giving you visuals for this. <sighs> Can I give you visuals for this? All right, I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a story for you. I should, I should honestly make a a presentation. I cannot get the hair out of my mouth. Did you? No. Okay. <laughs> he likes to just put his ball wherever he knows I have to grab it. The looming tennis ball in the background too is so ominous. Um. Okay. That's my fucking man. That's my man. I'm so not normal over a star, Ian. I'm not normal. I'm not normal. I'm not okay. But I think this will be really good for those of you who don't know anything about Baldur's Gate 3 whatsoever. Because I'm going to give you a crash course in love. Oh my god. Not one of the top searches being a star, Ian bloody. Oh my god. They're all just like me. I need to find a really sexy and hot photo of him. Static, I saw you message me. I hadn't read it yet, but I'll take a look. I'll, I'll see what your top three picks for, um, for, okay. For, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm so excited. Um, for Apex Legends cosplay. I'll consider it. I really, really will. Okay. Because I have to give you guys the dating tea on my character. I love how, like, you guys are getting a full-on Baldur's Gate 3 story time. I'm really thinking about streaming a campaign of Baldur's Gate 3, like, fully starting a new campaign on my computer and streaming it throughout the month of October. Because I want to explain something about Baldur's Gate 3. It's every... I, I said this earlier to my mod, so I'm sorry that they're getting this conversation twice. I really just think that Baldur's Gate 3 is every kind of of it's every kind of game you've ever wanted it's a barbie dress up game if you really want to you can dress up your characters it's like a barbie dress up game um it's a dating sim it's an adventure rpg it's i'm sure that if you tried hard enough it could be a first person shooter i don't know how but i'm sure that there's a world where it could be like it's just maybe the best game i've ever played in my life i don't know it's also the hardest game i've ever played in my life um Okay, I have Gale, Astarian, Shadowheart, Lazelle. I need to bring up Halson, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Because I'm going to tell you what my character's absolutely, like, disturbing love affair. Yeah, no, Smurfathine looks like she's had... I've never been more convinced she's haunted than today because she looks so done with my ass. She's like, I have not heard this woman shut the hell up about Baldur's Gate 3 in I don't even know how long. Okay. So I have Lazelle, Shadowheart, Gale, Halson. Oh, yeah, I want to show you Will, too. Okay, 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 okay. 
Oh, I should show you. I should show you Carlac too, actually. But Carlac is so fine that I'm not even acknowledging her during this run. My breath just caught in my throat thinking about Carlac. I can't even look at her because I want her so badly and I can't have her right now because this is a full-on Astarian run. Um, so I'm just ignoring her and pretending she doesn't really exist. Like, she's my friend. She's my bestie. But, like, if I, if I, if she put me in a situation where she was like, I'm in love with you. Like, I want you so bad. I would fold. And then drama would, drama would occur because how the hell can I pick how the hell can I choose I don't know oh wow there's some thirsty photos of Carlac oh my god mommy okay 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 let's start out okay yeah I think we should be good with this all right all right I'm going to give you guys, we're going to have a crash course in my character, her her love affair with the various people of Baldur's Gate 3. I want to make it very clear. Baldur's Gate 3 is not actually a romance sim. I have played the game probably in total like 40 plus hours and there's very limited romance. But because you have these characters in your party for the whole game, it actually feels like you're really immersed in it. And it definitely feels if you're like me and you're just absolutely like not well and you can't be trusted with these beautiful pixelated people. Um, like it's going to feel like a dating game the whole time. So in the beginning, you meet a couple of different characters. And I would like to say, that I knew from the start, I knew from the millisecond I downloaded this godforsaken game for 70 freaking smackaroos that this was my freaking man. I knew this was my man. I knew it was him. I, I laid eyes on him and I was like, well, that's it. I literally bought a wedding dress that very day. I knew this was my man. Man, he's my man. Okay, so <laughs> new from the minute that I laid eyes on him. I was like, oh, teehee. So I went into my first playthrough of Baldur's Gate desperately searching for him, looking everywhere for my husband. Okay, I knew what I was after. I knew immediately that he was mine. So I want to make that very clear. But something really interesting ended up happening to me. And that really interesting thing was Shadowheart. Shadow Heart was in love with my character. Hey, bud, I'm talking about very serious stuff right now. I, I so earnestly need you to come here. Come on, Hades. You're too close to the computers. Um, come on, out here. Come on. Thank you. That interesting thing was Shadow Heart, okay? Shadow Heart was the first member of my party with, uh, I think, Lazelle being the second. Uh, maybe Lazel was first. I don't remember. But Astarian was like immediately like within my first, I would say like two and a half hours of the game. I was finding Astarian. I needed my man. So the thing about Shadowheart was that she fell in love with my character immediately. My Tav wasn't even trying. And I think that like it honestly could have been a really beautiful love story. But this, but Shadowheart tried to get my Tav in bed instantaneously like shadow heart was trying to hook up with my tab and she is just so fine shadow heart is so fine but i'm married okay i can't do that to my man and then out of absolutely nowhere lazelle who i immediately benched the millisecond that i got gail lazelle fed fell head over head Heels for my tab was obsessed with her was all over her and they called my tab a slut for sleeping with a starian but lazelle has had a thing for my tab which is like the default name for your character in baldur's gate 3 lazelle has been in love with my tab since the millisecond i opened up that game okay i can't believe we haven't dropped any people i really i cannot believe there are 700 people in here listening to me say this who started this who brought this up i did I did. I needed to talk about my current love life status. So Lazelle is in love with my character, right? We can kind of, but we can bench Lazelle as we do in the game over here. There are really only a couple of people that we need to talk about. 
Astarian being the only one who's necessary. However, however, the moment that I pulled this man, and the moment I grabbed this man's hand, and I put, stop growling, <laughs> don't growl at each other. I knew it was going, I knew this little wizard would have a weird hold on me, okay? Maka, don't, don't talk to each other like that, please. I knew this wizard man would have a little bit of a hold on me, right? And he's the only person who I didn't outright reject. And it really came around to bite me in the ass. We're going to come back to that, okay? We're going to come back to how Astarian and I came to be. But Gail, Gail weirdly has been like even more of a runner up than Will, who I would say is easily, I think, the second most attractive, like, person in Baldur's Gate 3. Like, I think Will is so fine, and I don't want to spoil any of the story for you guys, but his character is so sweet. He has a really cool storyline, but I've benched him almost entirely because I think he's so fine. He makes me want to tear my hair out. So, Will hasn't even been getting as much play as Gale has, which is nuts. But then, we have I need a big boy. Give me a big boy. We have Halson, okay? And Halson is this absolutely gigantic uh, druid. He's just massive, massive man. And I think, I wish he could carry me like he's carrying Nathaniel in this picture. Um, And I believe he wants to. So Halson and I were at the tiefling party and Halson is like trying to get it. Halston has been trying to get it with my character. His approval rating for my character is so high. And I've had him in my party like four times, like max, like maybe for like two or three battles tops. Okay. So tell me why there's a reality where you can have a poly relationship with Halston and Asarian. Now, I've read further into it, and I'm not going to choose that. I think that I need to devote myself to my vampire man. Like I need to have a pure Astarian run because I need to do another Astarian run where he's evil. And like I, ju I just love, I love him so much that I will give up my big boy. I will give him up for this run, but he makes me feel things like it's cuffing season. Like I really, really, really do want him. So these three men are currently just occupying my brain with Astarian being number one, Gale being number two. And it's hard. Gale is, Gale is a tough one. Halson being number three, probably. But I would say that realistically, I think that Will is my like number two in terms of like, oh my God, I think this guy is so attractive. Now, all of that to say, if this woman told me to get on my knees and bark for a molecule, if she said, get on your knees and fucking bark so I can spit on you, I would do it. 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 I want Carlac biblically. I, she makes me so nervous. So nervous. Oh my god, my heart just started racing. I just gave her a hug in my playthrough and I was like, I cannot, I cannot be within a two foot radius of you for the rest of this playthrough because I will fold. I'm not good. She is so, Mama K is so fine. No, Kylantis, it's not life of luxury, but it is really important. Okay. Carlac, my mommy, my actual mommy, she, we were going through kind of like a dark and scary part of the game. And she was like, you stay close to Mama K now. I'll keep you warm. And I was like, like insert like water fall out of the mouth. You know what I mean? Oh, Static, you would love Lazel. She's so mean. She's so mean. She literally called me a slut. She was like, I want you so bad, but you are a slut and you will not stop sleeping you are you will not stop sleeping with these men. Um but that's basically my Baldur's Gate 3 
story thus far. And I think that this is really important. Uh, act two is actually really scary. I just got to the part where it's like, it's like full blown, um, <laughs> like, like Silent Hill for some reason. Anyways, what wound up happening that forced my hand? I just like, I was literally just forced to get into a relationship with Asarian. I wanted to wait a little bit longer, let him confess his feelings. He has exceptional approval for me. He is obsessed, okay? And I'm obsessed with him. I knew that he was my man, but I was letting us marinate. I was letting our love story build. I'm in Moonrise Towers, right? And nobody has advanced our storyline at all. I have been literally avoiding both. I've been avoiding all three of these people like the freaking plague because I can't have them. These two have already confessed to me and I've turned them down. But at the beginning of act two, Gail is basically like, God, I really love your company, man. I just, I, I like, I love being around you. And I, I, he, I had to just be like, oh my God, like, I love being around you too. Like, how can I not do that? So that happens. And I guess that that was the prerequisite for his act two confession scene. So I go to camp one night and he's standing there and his eyes are all purple. And I, I can't, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who doesn't want to be spoiled. But essentially, I get into his confession romance scene and he's like, I'm in love with you. Like, I have to tell you this. I'm in love with you. And I was like, oh, fucking no. But of course, I was in love with him too. And then, you know, things happen. And things do happen a lot in Baldur's Gate 3. So then... I leave that and I'm like, what am I going to do? I think I'm in a relationship with Gail now. Like, what What the hell am I going to do? I go and I talk to Asarian and he's like, are we done? Like, are we done? And I was like, no, we're not done. I would actually much rather be with you. Fully broke Gail's heart. Fully broke Gail's heart. And he, his dialogue after it was so gut-wrenching that I fully reset my game back to before I had gone to camp, went into Moonrise Towers, talked to a character that essentially would uh, fast track my relationship with Asarian and now I'm in a relationship with him and I haven't talked to Gail since because I'm too afraid and because I feel so bad. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my Baldur's Gate 3, um, my Baldur's Gate 3, um, oh my god, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Drew's sending me Apex Legends uh, options. No, Static was putting the Riz on me. On me, A-OK, ASMR. On me. But, um, yeah. I'm having a hard time because I do love my little golden retriever, but he never shuts the fuck up about his ex. Like, I love him so much, but, like, stop talking about your ex, man. Anyway. <laughs> I love my beautiful empire, empire. I can't even fucking talk. I love my beautiful vampire husband. We're going to have so many babies together. He's my man. I am down biblically for him. Gail, best boy, Halson. I really do want, I need me a big boy. That's the thing about Gail and Halson is they're big boys. Um, Will, honest to God, I don't know when I'll be able to play through because he's so good. He's such a good boy, like a good guy. And I do love him and I do need him. However, I just haven't played with him at all. So I don't really know much about his character. And then she needs her own dedicated playthrough. Her own debt. Like she needs her own. Like she's the only person in my party, her own dedicated player. Playthrough. So that's my story. I can't stop playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm so obsessed with it. It's not even funny. I'm glad that you guys were able to hear me out here. Summer, thank you so much for one month. Thank you for being a member for one month. I love you very much. Do we have any questions here? That, that, that does not sound like something I'd ever... I would never text my ex. Is it a PC game? It's on PC and it's on... Um, 
It's on uh, PlayStation 5, which is what I've been playing it on. So lately I have not been on my computer. I've been on my couch at my PlayStation playing this game every single night for hours and hours and hours. Monica Lewinsky said that was the best first date ever. Thank you so much. I'm so I'm so happy that we got to go on a date while I info dumped on you guys about Baldur's Gate 3. So this leads me to my next question. Should I start a Baldur's? Should I fully start a new playthrough? Because I think that I need to finish my current one. But I don't, I'm like 50% through. I don't think I'm going to be playing it for more than like, maybe like another couple of weeks, if that. So I could start another playthrough, like mid, not even. I just like, I could start another playthrough. I could keep them straight. I could, I could do it because, excuse me. It's not like I'm... It's not like I'm playing them both on the same console either. It would be so different. Should I just play? Because Baldur's Gate 3 can be scary, okay? Like I said, I'm in Act 2 now. Act 1 is like la di da di da like sunshine and rainbows. Act 2 is scary. I'm scared actively all the time. Last night when I was playing, I was like, oh my god, this is freaking Silent Hill. Like, it gets spooky. Like, actually scary. So... It wouldn't even be that far of a departure from my normal content, which is why I think like maybe it's just a good investment to Amanda. Don't fuel me. Don't don't gift memberships. What I'm talking about. Thank you very much, Amanda. I love you so much. Um, Kyle Antis, don't call me cute. <laughs> I love you so much, actually. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys for letting me just like ramble about this. I just. God, I love that game. It's so good. And honestly, I think that like. I think that if we had like a day a week to play Baldur's Gate 3, I'm so into it. I would probably play in like six hour chunks. It would be like very long streams that like we would we would totally make it through the game in like maybe like a month and a half, maybe like two months. But we could like make it a weekly thing and you guys could play along with me. Anyways, I could not recommend... Um, I, I cannot recommend that game enough. I think it's the best investment I've ever made into my own mental health. Um, I love my vampire husband. And I love every single other sexy man and woman in that game. Thank you very much for your time. So, yeah. Okay, should we watch Life of Luxury? <laughs> now I'm like, do I just like download Baldur's Gate 3? Um... I really would love to do a playthrough with you guys. Which act are you on? Act two still? Yeah, I'm on um I'm on I'm on act two. I am I just left Moonrise Towers uh to go. I'm actually stuck on a fight right now. I'm stuck on and I've read on Reddit and stuff that it's one of the hardest fights of the entire game. Oh my god, Reyna. Reyna said, girl, let's see a playthrough. We need it. Okay. All right, then we'll do a Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. I'll download it tonight. I'll download it tonight and maybe we'll honestly start playing it this week. I was not expecting this many of you to be like, yes. Like, <laughs> like, yes, play it. Amanda, oh my God, Dead by Daylight, like in the no bitches format. I need to play Dead by Daylight on stream so much. I just started, um, wait, Pluto, no. What is Bottoms? I don't know. I've never heard of that. Is it a show? Is it a movie? No, they really, Larian Studios is fucked up for how sexy. Those people are. Speaking of sexy people, Static won't start stop DMing me really hot cosplay options now from Apex. So now I'm just staring at them. Excuse me. Oh, wait. Who doesn't have stream? My team link. Um, dude, I need to play Dead by Daylight for spooky season. I really want to stream so much during, um, during this month. Oh, NVM. Got it. One second. I have to fix some stuff for a mod. I have not given mod permissions yet. Oh. 
No, they are so hot. They're so hot. They're so hot. I really enjoy the amount of sexy anime ladies that I'm looking at right now. Drag you guys back over here. And then. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble about Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to read the rest of these and then we will start um, the Life of Luxury React. Addison T, this is my proposal. You're so gorgeous. No, you. <laughs> Stop. I am married, though. I am married to a very sexy vampire, but he shares, so. Okay. <laughs> Judy Mo, thanks so much for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget if you guys join the channel memberships tonight or any night, there is a members only playlist and I just posted a 20 minute long what I bought in Japan video that will never go anywhere else. So check that out. Um, Grayson, you are the most chill mod. Um, and then Kelly, Kelly Soros, thanks so much for 15 months. I'm glad that you are here. I really, really am. Amanda also said pass fight or devour. You have all three. Oh my God, slay. I've only played um, Pacify, like, or was it Devour or Pacify? I don't know. I've only played those, like, one or two times. Thank you. These are, um, these are all from the Pokemon Center, actually, which you can see the new Pokemon Center things that I bought in my Japan haul on the members tab. Thanks, Rosa. That was a fun one. I'm excited to post the ghost hunting video. I'm excited to post like my Japan style diary. Um, I think my next couple of videos are going to be, and I'm not sure which order these are going to go up in. I did edit down my life of luxury, my first streams ever watching them. Um, and I've wanted to, uh, I think the reason that I wanted to watch life of luxury tonight is um, since, well, well, we'll get into that actually. We'll get into that before we we start watching the videos but there's gonna be that oh yeah i played pacify with nate i think it was also v and emma i think it was nate v and emma um but what was i about to say what was i where was my chain of thought going oh yeah um amber welcome to the channel memberships amber amber Byron. welcome welcome um go send for sam and colby please no comment I would love to. I would honestly love to. I would really, really, really love to. I would love to make that happen this season, but I'm sure that they're so freaking busy. Um, I met them for the first time, though, recently at an event. They were so cool. They were so cool. Also, Maribel, welcome to the channel membership. So happy to have you here. <laughs> That's okay, Jenna. Welcome, welcome. But... Um, What was I just telling you guys? Where was I going? Oh yeah, next videos. So ghost hunting in Japan. Um, uh, I also have like my style diary and stuff like that from Japan. Um, plus size shopping video where I like hunted for plus size clothing options in Japan just cause it's obviously like notoriously um, just different sizing there and plus sizes are so much harder to find. Um, and what else? I'm going to do an update to um, uh, Not Your Normal Kids show. I also am planning on traveling, traveling. I'm planning on talking about time travel TikTok. Okay. I also have a video coming up with 50 more TikToks. Um, they're already all pulled and had to be sent off to a translator because they are foreign videos, all from one account. I won't spoil anything, but I'm having a little bit of copyright trouble. So we'll see if I can get that sorted before it goes up. I, uh, where the hell is this hair? Where is this? Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it this one back here? It is. All right. Junimo, I definitely need to watch your haul. My brother is leaving for Japan on Wednesday. Need gift ideas. Yes, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Please give it a watch. It's a very fun one. Time travel. <laughs> but yeah, those are upcoming videos. Um, that's kind of what's going on this month. 
let's go ahead and pause the music and get into Life of Luxury. Um, I'm feeling okay tonight. I don't think that I want to take my mental health break. I think rambling the entire time that we started um, <laughs> about Baldur's Gate 3 has kind of like kept me very like energized or whatever. But this is um, a call to action to you guys to go ahead, take yourselves a little break, pause the stream if you need to, get some water, get a snack, do those kinds of things, take care of yourselves. I like to set a self-care timer usually when we do these streams, oops, sorry, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. Um, so we'll have 60 minutes until we have to take a break. Um, but just because I think it's good for us to like stand up and walk around and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. So I um, Bessie, do you like haunted houses? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> um you guys know that a couple of months ago, I watched Life of Luxury for the first time ever on stream. I had never really watched Life of Luxury before outside of like a Danny Gonzalez reaction video, right? And there has never been anything in my life that I fell so quickly in love with, except maybe a Starian from Baldur's Gate 3, than Life of Luxury. The biggest Life of Luxury stan of all freaking time, okay? Okay? I just love them so much. And when we reacted to them the first and only time, we've watched like two of their videos here on YouTube before. When we watched them last time, basically it was right before the creators of Life of Luxury came out and said that they had been having trouble with their MCN for just six months at that point and hadn't been paid in half a year from this channel that gets millions of views on every single video on every single video okay um which in the midst of that i i like i really have loved life of luxury still but i didn't really know how to like watch it in that time, it felt wrong and weird to like watch those videos then knowing that the creators like were having all of their money taken away from them and that like they were not getting paid for that YouTube channel. Um, now that they have full ownership rights back, I want to send a little love their way, pretty please. So if you find these videos interesting, I'd really, really love it if you guys would check out Life of Luxury themselves and give them a watch subscribe to their channel. If you find these videos funny or even maybe a little bit scary, if you just find them interesting, please, 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 please send them a little bit of love because they are kind of getting back up and like starting this whole thing from the ground running as far as I can tell. I think that what they went through is really terrible and I just support them so fully. I love Chester and Parker, my fathers, our founding fathers, truly. Um, and yeah, today we're going to be watching Do Not Fall Asleep at Petey's Playhouse. And I'm so excited. This looks just really, well, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see what it looks like. Girl Dinner is life of luxury videos, y'all. <laughs> Girl Dinner is simping over the, the Chester and Parker relation, not them themselves, just over Pester as a concept and as a celeb couple. All right. So we are going to, I, not, not, not the Astarian over here, not the Astarian voice actor, real, uh, not real short. Oh my God. I can never keep the amount of names that they have. Um, together. It's there's so much Astarian shit on my YouTube homepage. It's absolutely bananas. Patchwork said, I sprained my knee and your videos have been helping cure my boredom while I've been banned in my bed. This account used to be NovaCore. Hey Nova, how are you? I hope you're feeling okay. Love you so much. I'm glad you're here. So I'm going to I think Inquisitor is still here. Uh Inquisitor, if you can hear me, Monica Lewinsky got her pickles. 
Um, also, Crow, hi. Oh, that's okay. Don't be sorry you haven't watched in a while. I missed you too. I'm glad you could pop in. Welcome. You're here just in time. I'm going to play a little bit of this. We'll see how the volume um, feels for you guys. And then from there, we'll just start watching. Why do you want to go to this house? That's a little loud. <laughs> Why do you want to go to this house? House. Becca says her sister's missing. She could be in there. Welcome to Katie's Playhouse. Do your parents know you're here? Is that good? Yeah, I think like that's got to be good. Okay, I think that's a good volume level. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to be switching um, closed captions on and off. Whenever they have the closed captions down here, I think... I don't know what the best course of action is. I always feel like leaving the, the YouTube generated closed captions on makes it harder for you to read either. Um, but if it's easier for me to just leave them on permanently, I can do that as well. I think it's mostly just in the the intro actually here. I'm just going to leave them on. I'm just going to leave them on to be safe, but never mind. <laughs> Oh, they are the guys from the Candace. Are you still with us, meme? All right. Actually, give me two seconds. I need to um, I need to grab one of my windows and pop it over here. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's go to shot. The video captions are better. I'll, I'll leave them off for the intro, but I'll put them back on because I well, they have captions throughout this one, which is kind of hard. Are the captions on this whole video? I can't tell. We'll see because they honestly look like they're on like the full time. Huh. All right. Let's get through the intro and then I'll turn them back on and we'll we'll see what it looks like from there. Why do you want to go to this house? Becca says her sister's missing. She could be in there. Welcome to Katie's Playhouse. Do your parents know you're here? Someone trapped us in here. Is this some type of joke? You're a couple of naughty boys. I checked all the other windows. They were blocked. These guys are dangerous. <laughs> Listen, as annoyed as these guys are, we need to stay and record to see if we can find Caleb. Oh. <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> what an incredible intro to this episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I love that Chester gets to go play in the ball pit. That's really fun. I'm excited to see what Chester does in the ball pit. Hello, Lux Army. Let's hit 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. Okay, Parker. So for this episode, we received an email from a girl named Becca, whose little sister Kaylee recently went missing. It's so Becca hard to says, read them. I can't, I can't figure out what's best here. I think it literally is the bear mask from that new Winnie the Pooh movie. I don't know what is best here with closed captions. I don't know if it's better to leave them on the burn-in video ones because it looks like they're used the whole video. And I want you guys to be able to read them really well. I think that they're burned in the whole video. All right. Let's see how this looks, but if if we're getting to a place where anybody needs the the video ones back on, just let me know and I will make sure that those get switched on. Um cuz I can't even read what was um what was being said there, but let me know, please. At least 
So for this episode, we received an email from a girl named Becca whose little sister Kaylee recently went missing. Oh no! Becca says she found a tape in her sister's room that she thinks may have something to do with her disappearance. She sends us this video of the tape. So come on down to Petey's Playhouse where the fun never stops. Is that a threat? Petey? Is the fun never stopping a threat? Is that the gag? <laughs> what? <laughs> we just breezed a little too quickly past the half naked man getting shocked by the bear. But remember, don't tell your parents. Okay, I won't. I won't tell them. <laughs> now, Becca thinks her little sister was tricked into going to this playhouse, and in addition to her sister disappearing, several others in the area have also gone missing. Becca thinks- I- I don't think that Becca was tr uh, what was her name, sister's name? Kaylee? I don't think that Kaylee was tricked into going into the playhouse. I think that Kaylee saw something in that video that we just watched that called her in. Like, let's not, let's give Kaylee the credit she deserves. You know what I mean? Because you can't watch. <laughs> Never stops. I think this was it too. I think it was this uh, thing. Remember. I think it was the guy getting shocked with the little... Oh my god, I feel I am I am the most unserious person on planet Earth when I when I watch these videos. Also Patchwork said I think I know where Jello Man got the Jello. It was clearly from PD's Playhouse. <laughs> Now, Becca thinks her little sister was tricked into going to this playhouse, and in addition to her sister disappearing, several others in the area oh. have also gone missing. Becca thinks this playhouse in the tape may have something to do with it. Becca loves her little sister so much oh. and needs us to bring her back, and that's what we're gonna do. I think she's having a really good time at PD's Playhouse. I mean, was it a little bit unsettling in the tape? Maybe, but like... She, she, maybe she knew what she was getting herself into. Maybe she's having a grand old time. Who knows? Let's go. We're so bad. Bro, why do you want to go to this house? We weren't invited. Because <laughs> Becca says her sister's missing. She could be in there. Then why doesn't she look for her herself? We aren't even sure this place is real. Hear me out legendary Halloween costume idea. Legendary Halloween costume. Wait. Wait. Hear me out. Actually, just hear me out. The most incredible couples costume you've ever seen in your life. And it's so affordable. Okay? Just get a pair of sunglasses and a black t-shirt for one of you. Carry around that little camera. Have a little side swoop to your hair. And then you can just be, the other person can just be Stoic Parker. In a black button down. I honestly really want to see it. I really, really, really want to see a Pester cosplay. All over. I, I don't even just want to see one. I want to see very many. Bro, you saw the tape Becca found. It definitely looks real. And apparently multiple people have gone missing. We gotta apparently. see if they're in there. <sighs> okay. Oh, Chester, the things he does for his man. Man, he's such a dedicated, dedicated boyfriend. I love them so much. All right, I'll take the places around here. <laughs> Guy Lanza said they are my Barbie and Ken. Um, yeah, yeah, they really are. Parker, Parker is everything and Chester is just Ken. The gesture is just gone. Let's get out and start walking. Dude, where are we? Come on. I think the house is back there. Okay. Oh, Chester sounds so dejected. He really doesn't like this one. Bro, are you sure this is the right place? It looks abandoned. 
pretty sure this is it. I think the Kaylee sign might be in there. gives it away. Let's open the door. Okay. Not Dude, a playroom. What is this place? I know. What is this? PD and Pals. What? What's this? Oh, that's the ball pit. That's surely the ball pit. <gasps> Jester gets enrichment time in the ball pit. This is weird. I just saw a ball pit over there. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of concerned with the decorations in this place. Yeah. I think something's really off here. We should go. Dude, you know we can't do that. Why not? Imagine what kind of freaks live here. Because we just got here. And we haven't even tried to look for Kit. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Petey? Bro, who is that? Hi, I'm Petey. What's this guy doing? Welcome to Petey's Playhouse! Do your parents know you're here? <laughs> Not him asking these two fully grown men. Do your parents know you're here? I mean, maybe Chester looks a little young, but they both are very clearly like grown adult men. Grown adult men. He says, do your parents know that you're here? <laughs> um, If they do... No, Petey, they're not concerned because this is just an average Tuesday for these two men. Patchwork said, is it a time traveling uh, ball pit? Oh, my God. Is it? Is it? I didn't mean to rewind there. Welcome to Petey's Playhouse. Do your parents know you're here? Our parents? No, Um, we're actually here looking for our friend Kaylee. Is she here? We have lots of friends here at Petey's Playhouse. Now, are you guys ready to play? Um, not right now. Do you think you could show us where Kaylee is? Hmm. Yes, I will take you to your friend. It's giving big, first you must answer my riddles three energy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that they're getting to Kaylee without a serious struggle in the form of possibly swimming through the ball pit. And somehow I think that Chester is going to be sent into every single one of these situations alone. Like, Parker just seems like the kind of guy who, like, tosses Chester into shit all the time. And that is true. That's how most of these episodes go. Follow me. The PD mask Dude, is. Do um, you really want to follow this guy? Yeah, come on. It's something. Dude, where's he taking us? I don't know. Oh. I believe Kaylee is in here. The naughty boys' room. What? Kaylee can't be in there. Okay. Kaylee's not in the naughty boys' room. He's taking them to the naughty boys' room because Petey believes that they're naughty boys. Petey. Seems a little. Seems. Seems a little, you know? I don't know, just me. Wait, what is this? The naughty boys room. What? <laughs> Is this some type of joke? Since Not a bucket. You're a couple of naughty boys. Oh god, sorry. It got a little loud for me. I'm gonna turn it down just a teensy bit. I'm sorry to over at the naughty boys room. Wait, what is this? Dude, what? <laughs> Is this some type of joke? Since you won't answer my questions, you're a couple of naughty boys! Wait, what? <laughs> Girl, she's not here. Let's just go. Yeah, run! Perfect. Wow, I don't know what Petey's plan there was. Petey's a little silly for that one because 
they just walked out. What was the plan to keep them in here? Because the two of them literally just walked out the door. Like, how did PD think he was going to keep them contained in here when the... You're a couple of naughty boys! Wait, what? <laughs> She's not here. Let's just go. They just leave. They literally just leave. Parker, where are we going? We're leaving. For once, Parker's leaving? What? Bro, what happened to this door? What? Why is it blocked off? Oh. Someone trapped us in here. Oh. Petey knew they weren't actually naughty boys. Because if they were actually naughty boys, he would have pulled some of this shit. You know what I mean? He would have gone Bob the Builder on the naughty boys room. He was just teasing them. Which makes me wonder a little bit more about Petey. And I don't know. I just think he's teasing these two at this point. I think he also ships Pester. And I think that we're going to see more proof of that as the video goes on. You mark my words. Patrick said, my brother just jump scared me by climbing on top of the fridge. Oh my God. That sounds terrifying. Me. Bro, we gotta leave. How are you? How are you gonna get out, Chester? The way he so gingerly jumps into it, trying not to actually knock it Bro, over. We're trapped. What? Is there another way out? Hold on. Chester is just can. He can't help it. Yeah, open up a window. Are there? Bro. They blocked the windows, oh, no. too. How do we get out of this place? I don't know. Imagine who else is trapped in here. Well, let's try to look for a way to get out. Dude, there's probably other people stuck in here. Listen, I'm going to set up some cameras. Bro, no. Anything for the plot. I got to find another way out. Chester, you would leave your man in a time of need? Oh, my God. Wait. Okay. Chester, that's very Ken of you. That's a very Ken thing to do, to leave your Barbie behind when your Barbie is just trying their best to get to the bottom of things. Weird. Yeah, I'm going to set up some cameras in this house. God, I love when they set up the cameras. It's my favorite part. The artwork in here is uh, really something. TV land. What could be in there? There's plastic. I'm starting to think that the, um, oh, I was going to say that the descriptions of these rooms are not very accurate because Naughty Boy Room was just a room with a bucket, but TV land is actually TV land. Huh. What's this? I want to find a way out of this place. What the hell? Brendo says, remember to go to the bathroom. Go piss, girl. What's this? Commercial. Oh my god, we get to watch a VHS? Stop, we get to watch a VHS? Oh my god, slay. What's that noise? I'm gonna go out on a limb here, Parker, or I mean Chester, and say it's Brendo. this footage was the shocking a one-time only kind of event does the guy wait His name is ball pit and everyone's does the guy in the overalls this half naked man in the skinny jean overalls only get shocked sometimes are we ever gonna meet him also or is he like is he parker or chester wait he doesn't look like either of them actually i don't know i wonder if we'll see him 
Not the Freddy Fazbear way. Whoever in the comments just started wish Freddy Fazbear regarding Frendo. That is the single funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was Susie. Oh my God, Susie. That's so funny. Me and the girls. Wait, this is literally us on Sundays. This is our Sunday scream stream. Favorite characters. But remember, Phoebe's Playhouse is a secret, so don't tell your parents. He's really obsessed with you not telling your parents about his playhouse. I think it's the ball pit. I think the ball pit is what's most questionable. Uh-oh. Frendo didn't get to go potty, and now he's real mad. And when the clock strikes midnight, it's time for Petey and Pal's musical fun time! With me, Petey, everyone's favorite band, Frendo. And don't forget, Conductor Charlie! Conductor Charlie! Oh my god, this is my Eras tour. Stop! Eras tour at Petey's Playhouse. Slay! Conductor Charlie is getting it. Listen to those tunes! What is this? Parker, can you listen? Uh oh. Oh, now's when the shocking starts. What's he doing? Oh no, oh, Conductor Charlie! Conductor Charlie! Maybe that's why we haven't seen Conductor Charlie so far in this episode. Chester, now you've done it. I hear Chester screaming. You better go to your man, Parker. Get away! Oh, he's friendly! He just wants a hug! That mask is horrifying. Dude, this guy's back. This is how you treat visitors at our playhouse, even if they are naughty boys. <laughs> is unlike anything I've ever seen in my life in these videos. Dude, that guy is back. <laughs> oh my god. Petey really came in, like, Petey really came in here and said, Frendo, you're being a naughty boy too. Dude, this guy's back. <laughs> this isn't how you treat visitors at our playhouse, even if they are naughty boys. <laughs> I'm sorry, Petey. I just wanted to say hello. It's okay, Frendo. Now how about we stop all this and start the play? I don't know if we're ever going to get to playing, oh. Petey. What's that noise? An alarm. Is it midnight? Is the music, is the Eras tour about to start? Chester, are you okay? Dude, that guy kept touching me. Who are these people? Bro, I don't know, but I put some cameras down. Let's go somewhere private. But I still want to find a way out of this place. We will. Let's hide somewhere and lock the door. Chester's okay. so brave, man. He's so brave. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the music has started. Or it's about to. Wait. There it is. What's that music? I, I don't know. Bro, they're playing instruments right now. That's a really weird thing to do at midnight. But where is Conductor Charlie? You know, I, I, I'm I watching this clip and I'm failing to see any evidence of Conductor Charlie. So is he still taking a nap? Are they just going on without a recorder? I mean, half the band is missing. Well, like a third of the band is missing. But... They're jamming. I don't know. Let's go to our room. Hopefully they will play tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I told you. I checked all the other windows. They were blocked. These guys are dangerous. You need to listen to me. Bro, I can barely hear you over this annoying music. How long are these guys going to be doing this? I love the idea that this is just like an Airbnb that they've checked into for like a romantic getaway. They're just trying to like get out of the house, Parker and Chester, and their Airbnb host just will not stop playing music, just will not stop playing their little tunes. I mean, you have a front row seat to the PD's Playhouse Eras tour, dude. Like, just go watch it. If you're not going to get any sleep anyway. Also, I... <laughs> I just noticed how disgusting the sheets are. How disgusting that blanket is. Like, oh my god. Wow, Frendo's really giving wish Freddy Fazbear. Know, but we need to find another way out of this place because right now we're trapped. Yes, and we might not be the only ones. Listen, as annoying as these guys are, we need to stay and record to see if we can find Kaylee. Bro, but what? Listen, I'm tired. I want to try to sleep for a bit, but when we wake up, we'll watch the footage. Dude. Wow. Wow. Sorry, Chester. Sorry, friend. Aw, oh, man. I love that the lights go off when he turns off his camera light. We go to sleep. Maybe we cuddle a little bit. Maybe a little bit of footsie under the comforter. It's 1.30, so they've been jamming for an hour and a half if they started at midnight. But this is this is footage from the cameras that they've set up through the house, so we're probably gonna see some spooky shit. Wow, these two just, maybe they are animatronics. Because they never run out of energy. <laughs> the shot of the bucket in the naughty boys room. I'm dead. And the ball pit. Okay, we're getting a setup of the house. Wow, it's 2.30 now. Oh my god. Wow, it's almost 3 a.m. But you know, spooky Bro, things tend to happen. Do this? Um, it is almost 3 a.m. now, but you know that spooky things tend to happen at 3 in the morning. So maybe maybe get prepared for the Eras tour to take a sinister turn. Bro, how long are they gonna do this? I knew it. I knew some spooky shit was going to go down at 3 a.m. I think they stopped. No. How they move so fast? Get some sleep now. Okay. I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh boy. bathroom looks pretty normal that's nice i don't see any toilet paper but i think that's because they took the toilet paper and they 
What? They put the toilet paper in the naughty boys room, remember? <laughs> not voyeur, not voyeur, friend o bear. Not voyeur, Freddy Fazbear from Wish. What do you mean? He was about to watch Chester Tinkle? Oh my God. Wow. Brendo, you freak. <laughs> we go back to sleep. Chester walks back in the room and he goes, Hunk, me, 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 me. <laughs> Man is out. Something paranormal is happening. Wait, who's in the ball pit? Why are they moving so fast? It's Frendo. So is that Frendo's bed? Is that like his dog bed? Does he just sleep in the ball pit? Okay, now it's four in the morning. So we've made it past three without too much paranormal activity. You know, outside of Frendo wanting to watch Chester go potty, of course. But Frendo is no longer in his bed. Uh-oh. Oh, they're on a midnight stroll. What will they do? Okay. I love that this is very clearly like a real sinister pair of people who are doing creepy stuff. But there's also a paranormal element to it, you know? Because there always has to be. The suspense is killing me, though. Damn. Like, what is about to happen? I think they're about to oh, this is incredible gg i love you thanks for joining in for tonight's stream i'm sorry it's so weird <laughs> wow i think that they've decided that chester and parker might actually be naughty boys that little head tilt at the camera seems to suggest that they believe that they are naughty boys. It was a GoPro camera. You could have just turned it off, friendo. You didn't have to ax it. Those are like $300. They're really expensive. Why did the phone's flashlight go off with the text? I've never seen that. Bro, what are you doing? What if our cameras stop working? Yeah, sorry to tell you, you'll have to replace it, but... Bro, we gotta go check on it. Come on. Dude, no! I don't wanna go back out there, and neither should you! I'm just gonna go fix it real quick. Stay here if you want. Alone, Chester. Alone. I don't know why he's doing this. Oh, Chester's going after him. He stands by his man. Oh, I 
fucking love them. Uh oh. What's that? Parker? What what does that say? Kaylee. Or conductor uh -huh. Charlie. Or maybe just PD giggling. I actually don't know. There's many options. PD and Pal's train adventure. Oh. oh no, not under the bed. Oh, under the mat. Under the mattress. Kaylee was under the mattress this whole time. Kaylee was under the mattress the whole time. Wow, they really trapped her. Who's who's next to her? Conductor, Sam, Greg, Charlie, Chester! Conductor, Chester, no! Oh God. <laughs> oh my God, what a twist. Why is Chester's name there? He's gonna become the new conductor. <laughs> Parker. Why do you have that? Stop it. You know, Chester, you don't have to be the the stepfather, but you can be the father that stepped up for this family. And I think that the first place to do that is to wear the conductor uniform. Uniform uh, is to wear the conductor uniform, shirtless. Also, just yeah. <laughs> just <a> screaming. <laughs> Oh no, he's kind of scary. <laughs> Parker, throw. Parker, drop the camera and help your man. I'm begging you. <laughs> He's in the ball pit. Chester, where'd the bear go? I don't know. Come on, we gotta go. Dude, what is that? Behind you. What? Oh Chester. no! ball pit could be so scary, man. Who knew? Yeah! Get your man! He's not a naughty boy! Poor Parker! And they're not gonna hold hands on the way out? I think that's really sad. I kind of wanted them to hold hands on the way out of the house. You know, like Parker rescued him out of the ball pit. It was like this really like tense moment where Parker really had to like face his fears and know that like what Chester was what mattered most to him. You know what I mean? Like down astronomical. panic over the welfare of his Chester he knew he could make it out he knew I guess I guess yeah I guess they are just gonna leave Kaylee behind like fully they know that she's under the mattress but now they've broken out of the house so I don't see a world where they get her out 
Maybe they were setting up for a sequel. Maybe there is a sequel. I don't know. They're watching us. Bro, what were those guys trying to do to you? Listen, I found people under his bed. Should we go back in there and look for Kaylee? Dude, you have no idea what that bear was like when we were alone. Whatever. Let's just go to our car. Okay. Oh, I, I think... I mean, I think they were pretty scary the whole time, but... We went home and emailed Becca that her sister may still be trapped in Petey's playhouse. We don't know if she is or isn't. She's been begging us to go back and look again ever since. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's try to smash 100,000 likes for Our... the next episode to be released. And thank you so much for 6.4 million subs. Oh, if you baby, haven't already, so make sure deserved. to smash that subscribe button for more Life of Luxury episodes. The video is over now, so you don't need to keep watching. But here's some footage from our new video where we buy an egg off the dark web on Luxury Dark. Wait, I've never watched any Luxury Dark videos. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that That's footage. Incredible. Remember, let's hit 100,000 likes for more Life of Luxury episodes. We have a lot of scary videos coming that you don't want to miss. Okay. In every single... Actually, let me read the super chat really fast. Hi, Gigi. I love weird watching your lives. This is my favorite way to decompress after a long day. Watching you help my mental health and self-care with your self-care timer. Oh my god, we've got about 15 more minutes until we're going to take a little breaky break. Um, I think, personally, that that had to be setting up for a sequel, right? It's so rare that they end up not rescuing the person or like coming to some kind of yeah chester's a mom we're gonna breeze right over that Petey's playhouse part two was there ever a part two no no part two wow that was incredible that was really, really incredible. You know, I like to think that uh, Petey and Friendo the Bear were just a glimpse into Parker and Chester's future, just gallivanting around their their little home and making music, making memories, enjoying life. You know, it, it really is just a beautiful love story in every direction you turn. What an incredible life of luxury video! Wow, I am just, I am just so thrilled. <laughs> I am just so thrilled. Oh my God. That was so fun to watch. That's their man child calling Chester mother from now on. Chester does give like slight mother vibes. What should we do? I'm uh, I'm actually kind of tired. We only have 15 more minutes till the self care timer goes off anyway. I wish there was a part two to this video. I really, really do. We could watch the new video, actually. Um, the She Gave Birth To It During The Night. We've been saying that we should watch that one for so long. We've been saying for months that we should watch that one. We'll watch that one to figure, to figure, to, um, to end off the stream tonight. We will um, hang out for a little bit until the next self-care timer goes off. And then, well, I guess we can take it early, actually. There's no reason why we shouldn't. Why not? Yeah, let's go ahead and just. Okay, so I love our self-care timer hours, okay? I really would like us to take care of ourselves during these scream streams. Normally we're watching some scary shit tonight. You know, we're watching some life of luxury in the name of mental health. Um, So while I am gone, water. dog hair flying in the air is mandatory um but while i am taking my own self-care break i'd love it if you guys could take one as well with me just because i always like to think that like we should be taking care, care of ourselves especially on days like this where we're sitting so much and just hanging out together and gabbing and staring at screens if you have not already tonight go ahead and take your meds drink some water 
eat a snack, maybe get up, stretch around, go to the bathroom, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna do the same since we've been live for about two hours. Some of you I know are heading out now. So if you did, thank you so much for joining the stream. I'm so happy you were here. When I come back, we'll watch the latest Life of Luxury episode, which is she gave birth to it during the night. Again, we've been saying for a while that we wanted to watch this one. So that'll be what we what we do next. Sorry, I was just <laughs> opening it up and getting it ready for when I come back. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you guys on a BRB and play you some music. And take, oh my God, that was so loud. And take my little breaky break. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. Okay.
working? I think so. Okay, turning down that music finally. Can you guys hear me okay? I think my mic um, was being kind of funky, um, so I wasn't sure. Ooh, cheese and crackers sounds so good. I actually brought back a Lunchable, which is gonna get me through till my girl dinner once we're done. For girl dinner tonight, I'm having, um, it's gonna be late, but, well, probably within the next hour, because whenever we finish up, I'll, I'll, I'll get making on it. Oh, also, Isabel Perez, thanks so much for joining the channel memberships. If you guys joined the channel memberships tonight or anytime, don't forget, don't forget, you have members only videos to go watch. Turn on the music some more. Um, including a Japan haul I just posted. But I'm having um I'm having cauliflower crusted chicken tendies. Cauliflower crusted chicken tendies. And then I'm having um sweet potato fries, and it's gonna be very, 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 very good. But for now, I have this. I um I had such a productive day. I like when I woke up, I had my little coffee and stuff. And I woke up fairly late today. I woke up at like <laughs> noon on the dot. Um, because Riley has to have round the clock meds, I'm always up. I'm like up at like very like I have to give him a round of meds at two and then again at ten. Oh, patchworks, Nova, thank you so much for that gifted membership. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a generous thing to do. Um but I'm always awake. But like when I finally start my day, like when I like when I like peel myself out of bed and or off the off the couch where I've been napping. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, it's been kind of late. Um, no, Jax, it's okay. I I think I made it seem like I was still in Japan with the way that I posted my last video. But that's because I filmed it there and thought it was gonna go live while I was there. Anyways, um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm home now. What was I gonna say just now? I forgot already. Mm. Cheers, it's still really frozen. Hmm. Okay, that's too frozen even for me. <laughs> it has to be soft. But yeah, I'm making Cauliflower crusted chicken tendies. Oh, I was gonna say because I've been waking up late. Well, today I woke up and I had my cute little protein bar. I went to the gym and then I got back and then I took the dogs for walkies and then I started getting ready for stream. And then by the time that I knew it, it was the end of the day, but I hadn't really eaten. I keep doing this. I keep doing this. I, I just keep getting to the end of the day and I'm like, oh, you have not eaten once. And then I'm so hungry by nighttime. But always up for pups, yes. Always up for doggies. Mm, I'm so excited to play Baldur's Gate 3 after we finish stream tonight. Ah! So excited. Sorry, I'm so excited. Oh, also, for those of you who are at all interested, I just filmed my first... Um, second channel video. I think I've been telling you guys for a while that I wanted to turn it into like a manifestation channel. I filmed it and I started editing it, but I am, oh, somebody got a beta, but who was it that got a beta last stream? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, but I did film that my first ever Second channel video, that my first ever, my first one in like years and years and years and years. Um, who's drinking? That would be Hades. Wow, he looks so spooky. <gasps> You're a scary dog. <laughs> He's like, screw you woman, I'm going back to bed. He's so ready for supper too. Although it's not quite time for them yet. Um, but... Nutella and Crespel sounds so good. I'm just having the grape one. Just having the grape one. Mm -mm -mm. Ma'am, I'm so excited to watch more Life of Luxury.
handsome little bantam. You look very sleepy. He's so sweet when he's sleeping. Look at him. Look how sleepy you are. Did you just wake up? You came to see me? Oh, good morning. Good morning. Hi, puppy. Good morning. How's it going? You smell unquestable? Good morning, handsome. Good morning. Yes, you called in everybody. They heard mom baby talking. I can't believe you smell an Uncrustable and now you're so baby. You're so, what was that? What was that? I was just gonna bet your head. All right. Well, good morning. Well, yeah, good morning. Every single puppo. Hi, baby girl. Hi, puppo. Wanna watch some Life of Luxury with mom? The boy, the lad. Can you guys believe this is a seven-year-old dog? Because I freaking can't. When do huskies actually leave the puppy stage? Because I have a 14-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a seven-year-old, and none of them are any less puppy. I literally brushed this dog for hours last night, and I can still just go down. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry you're sneezing. I got to brush him again tonight. Poor pups. He probably needs to get professionally groomed this year. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Oh my goodness. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Don't eat your hair, please. That's probably why you're sneezing. Peanut butter and chili. Susie, what are you talking about? <laughs> I used to sit on Crestfuls all the time, so now I physically cannot. Oh yeah. I don't have them in my house all the time or else I have like I have a little bit too much of them, but I really do love them. They're so good. Hey, beautiful. You can't have any. Not for puppies. I don't know this peanut butter. I don't know what's in it. Yeah, I don't know what's in here. No puppies. Not for puppies. That's smart, Junimo. Annie's on a much more regular grooming schedule than the others. Because her, her, her hair doesn't really ever fall out. Like, it has to get cut. Um, but I try to get the Huskies, like, professionally groomed. Maybe, like, once a year. But they usually get baths in the summer. Yeah, I'm breezing past peanut butter and ramen. Because what are you talking Well, you know, I say that. But I can't even really judge. Because it sounds kind of like pad thai or something. Good night, <laughs> Cucaracha. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Love you. Okay. Should we watch this Life of Luxury vid? I'm loving all the new music. It's so fun. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna watch this. I'm not resetting the self-care timer because I do think I'll probably end up calling it whenever this is done. We'll probably stream for another like 30 to 40 minutes, probably like 40 minutes. And then, um, yeah, we'll call it there. But let's see. I basically... Ever since I watched Life of Luxury last time, I, <laughs> you can see I was searching for Petey's Playhouse. When I watched Life of Luxury, literally last time, um, well, actually, no, this wouldn't have been posted then. People kept telling me to watch the new Life of Luxury video every single stream, every stream, no matter what we were doing, games, watching actual scary videos. Not that Life of Luxury isn't scary. Let me quickly say, terrifying content here to be seen. However, people have been telling me to watch this for so long, it feels like. Hades is taking a nap again. And finally, we had a bit of a like... Uh, uh, Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You okay? You okay? What was that? Sorry. 
comes out. You okay? What happened? Oh, bless you. It's okay, Anne. Everything's okay. God bless you. Bless you, puppy. It's okay. You just sneezy? What was that? What was all that about? It's okay. Bless you. What happened? Oh, poor puppy. Oh. Poor sweet man. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I went full baby talk, huh? Oh, good boy, huh? Oh, my sweet baby, bless you. You got something in your throat? What's up? What's up? It's okay. You can get it out. You're okay. You're not getting any kind of snack to do it, though. You're okay. You're okay. All right, let's go. Go on. Go. Go. Get. Sweet boy. I think I'm going to have to close them out so I can finish this up. Give me one second. One sec. Come on, cutie patooties. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if she's still going to be doing this. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Anne was just staring right in here. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, Chad has been asking me to watch this video for God knows how long at this point. To make a long story really, really short. And we're finally watching it during Life of Luxury stream night. How about that? Oh boy. <laughs> it's called um she gave birth to it during the night. It has 3.5 million views. And I just could not be more excited to see what this is about. Are we ready? Are we ready to start life of luxury? I think smile, I was, um, oh, hey, pup. Um, I, I think I was talking about what I'm doing for dinner after this. Mm hmm. And then it turned into really weird food talk. I'm also having an uncrust bulb. This is the last bite. pregnancy is none of our business and what if her mom is dangerous be like there oh actually maybe where it was is fine okay all right all right we ready i didn't see closed captions with this one so i'm just gonna turn them on preemptively her mom's pregnancy is oh none no of there our were business. there were there were oops sorry <laughs> restarting one more time i swear Her mom's pregnancy is none of our business. And what if her mom is dangerous? Whoa. Oh dear. It seems like my water broke. Oh my god! Get him over this. This is where she's gonna have the babies. Push! Keep pushing! ladies and gentlemen, is why we absolutely have to support a free and independent life of luxury with no MCN because this is the quality content that we can re expect. Oh my God. I'm so happy you're here, pup. We should play games for spooky season. Outlast 
creature immediately after the limbless baby. They've lost the goddamn plot, y'all. Hello, Lux Army. Thank you for Hi, 7 Parker. million subscribers. Dessert. Never thought we would get this far, and we're Wait. really grateful. They posted this a month ago with 7 point... They are already up to 7.4 million subscribers. They have gained almost 300,000 subscribers since they posted this a month ago. That is incredible. That is so, so deserved. For you, let's try to hit 8 million subs next. And let's hit 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. So for this episode, we were contacted by a girl named Lucy who is concerned because her mom, Gloria, became pregnant and she thinks her mom conceived the baby in an unnatural way. Oh boy. Lucy thinks that if her mom... This is why it's really important to have the talk with your children. You know what I mean? As uncomfortable as it might be, suddenly you're just pregnant later in life and your kid is writing into these two amateur ghost hunters like, hey! My mom is pregnant and I think something's a little spooky about it. Now these men are about to barge into your home unannounced and set up an entire ghost hunt because there's a baby inside of you. Unrelated, but I have terrible baby fever, so. <laughs> an unnatural way. Lucy thinks that if her mom gives birth, there's going to be something horribly wrong with the baby. She isn't even sure how her mom became impregnated, and since carrying this child, her mom has become animalistic and started smelling really bad. She sent us this video for proof. She's roasting her mother! Roasting! Oh. It's giving broken animatronic on, like, a Disney ride. You know what I mean? Mom? <laughs> now, Lucy thinks funny. her mom is going lie. to give birth soon, and she needs our help convincing her not to go through with the childbirth, or something horrible will be born. So tonight, we're going to drive to the- Tell me why this- Help me convince her not to go through with the childbirth because there's no doubt something horrible will be born. This is literally the entire plot of Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. Like, except this is even better, actually. I don't even know why I'm comparing the two. It's incredibly unfair to Twilight. Childbirth or something horrible will be born. So tonight, we're going to drive to their house and see what's going on with this family. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. <gasps> Oh my god, love! Oh, blocks is so hard! Bro, what are you doing? I'm playing blocks, but it's so boring! I wish oh. I had a cool game I could play! If you want a cool game to play, just download Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends? What's that? <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends is one of the biggest mobile games right now that everyone is playing. They are so unserious. I'm obsessed with them. And fighting against millions of real people. You can play on mobile and desktop with engaging player versus player combat and over 400 million real players all across the world. There are over 700 champions to collect, each with their own unique skills and abilities. 12 terrifying dungeons with their own brutal bosses. 15 awesome factions like Lizardmen, Orcs, Elves, and Undead. An endless customization with millions of different artifact combinations you can use to create a team of unbeatable champions. Yeah! Nobody's beating my team! And if you're a new player, if you download <laughs> Raid so now much. and use promo code... Like, and name another channel you would just willingly sit through the ad for because they're so... I mean, except for mine, of course. But, like, they're so entertaining. They're so funny. JT skin, you'll get Stag Knight, one of the best epic champions in so existence, true. and a free skin for him designed by Jontron. Raid is constantly adding new champions and That's game modes to play, like Sun Wukong, the mischievous monkey king you can get as a free legendary champion. Wow, my Stag Knight has drip! 
We personally love Raid's amazing graphics and intense boss fights, so click the link in the description or scan the QR code to download Raid, and you'll get insane bonuses like Epic Champion Knight Errant. Once you've downloaded the game, come find us under the name Luxury Dark. I can't bring can myself to skip the clan. ad. I click can't the make the myself do it. Or scan I can't the QR make code myself to do download it. Raid Shadow Legends. I just love them so much. I've been influenced. As soon as I'm done with Baldur's Gate 3, Raid of Shadow Legends is next, and it's only because of Life of Luxury. Bro, why are we getting involved with this family? Her mom's pregnancy is none of our business. Hearing Parker go from, wow, my stag night has drip, to like back into serious, like, why are we going here? Like, what's going on? Why are we going to this house? I don't want to see this pregnant lady. Like, it's so funny. Because Lucy says her mom has become unstable. It's not right to leave this girl alone with her. But there's nothing we can do about that. And what if her mom is dangerous? Dude, I think Lucy's just exaggerating. She's probably jealous this new baby is going to take her mom's attention away from her. It's called sibling jealousy. Look it but up, Chester. You don't have a psychology degree. And what are we going to do when it's time for her mom to give birth? Okay, but Chester ate a little bit with, <laughs> you don't even have a psychology degree. <laughs> oh, you don't have a psychology degree. And what are we going to do when it's time for her mom to give birth? You don't need a piece of paper to help someone. Let's just drive there and find out more about the situation. <sighs> okay. I love them so much. I love them so much. If Life of Luxury has zero fans, I'm freaking dead. I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. Check on me immediately. I love them. All right. I love them so much. Your destination is on the right. All right. We're here. Let's go knock and talk to the daughter. Okay. At least they're knocking on the door. At least they're not just running in like they did at PD's Playhouse. Is that the mom hey, or the uh, daughter? I know this is weird, but your daughter emailed us. She says she's concerned about you. No, that was me. I emailed you. Wait, so your mom is pregnant? Yes, she's extremely pregnant. <laughs> she's well, so can pregnant. Can we come in and see her? Yeah, she's in the other room. The subtle, the subtle judgment that Parker is now casting because he's like, you're old. Like, you're an old lady. Oh, my God. Jen. Sorry. Jen Caso Lucas. I hope you're still here. Thank you so much for your super chat. I'm so sorry. Um, am I excited for 1989 Taylor's version? I sure am, bestie. I sure, 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 sure am. I'm so excited. But I love the judgment. Parker's like, oh, it's your mom. Annie, can you not chase Carson around the house? Annie. She can't hear me because all the doors are closed. That's actually kind of good to know. Um. <laughs> Follow me. Come in and see her. Yeah, she's in the other room. Follow me. Okay, come on. Dude, how old is her mom? Chester, oh my God. At least Parker was subtle about it. Oh, no. What? She was just there. But she's gone now. She's the gone. chair is empty. Well, where did she go? I don't know. She's really unstable tonight. Hold on. <laughs> that lady's trying so hard not to laugh. Look at her face here. Wait, look at her face. She's really unstable tonight. She's trying so hard not to crack up. And I, that's so real of her. I could never... Parker and Chester, if you're watching this, I will be in any Life of Luxury video. I don't care where the hell you live in this great, vast world that we call home. 
I will travel to you and be in one of your videos, but I will not be able to keep a straight face like that. Like, <laughs> she's killing it, honestly. Also, Addie, thanks for 12 months. These videos are too much. They're just enough, baby. They're just enough. Hold on. Chester, where are you going? We just gotta go to the car. Going so soon. <gasps> What's over Mom? There? You can't leave now. I'm baking you my special cookies. Is that her mom? Yeah. Girl, that's a lot of effort for you to be doing at like a million months right, pregnant. Well, we need to sit down and talk with them. Bro. <laughs> Is she licking her lips looking at Chester? He's married, ma'am, and he's a little young for you. But mostly he's married. That's his man right there. You leave them alone. <laughs> Parker just starting to film is so funny. There are you cookies, sweetie. Oh, they're hairy. Okay, can you please sit down now? Okay, ladies. Thank you for sitting down. Why is there a sheet it's on the table? My pleasure. Yeah, so Lucy, you emailed us because you're concerned about your mother Gloria's pregnancy. This isn't natural. She's 78 years old. I don't know how this happened. Okay, I understand um, why it's a little concerning have now. Have you tried asking her how she conceived this baby? How could I ask her? She lost her mind years ago. Hey, Mom, how did you get pregnant? <laughs> well, you see, dear, your father and I loved each other very much. Dad's been dead for 10 years, <gasps> Mom. Plot twist. Gloria, this isn't natural for you to have a baby at this age. <laughs> Parker has incredible bedside manner sometimes. Parker has absolutely just impeccable bedside manner sometimes. When he's nice to people in these videos, I'm always like, aw. Like, I love that he literally, like, he just picks up Gloria, her hand. This isn't natural for you to have a baby at this age. Like, he's trying so hard to comfort her. I love it. It's so awkward. It's so funny. Pumpkin Queen, thanks for five months. Wanted to say thanks for all the laughs. Love you. I love you more. Thanks for being here. Can you please tell us? How did you become pregnant? Immediately just starts pissing. What is <laughs> that? Starts peeing on the floor. Oh dear. It seems like my water. Broke. Sorry, it was the water. How oh, could I be so my silly? Are getting wet. Lucy, I think your mom is going into labor. You need to help us get her set up. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have something for her. My car. Oh my god, Lucy's going to leave them. Dude, where's she going? She's leaving, Chester. Chester. She's leaving you to handle it. I think she's coming right back. No, she's not. Parker, Parker, honey, she's leaving. She, she's running. She's not coming back. Bro, she's gone. She's not coming back. Come on, we gotta go help Gloria. Her water broke, that means she's going into labor. Bro, I don't even think that. What? Hello, boys. Gloria, your water broke. We gotta get you set up. You're gonna have your baby. Hmm. Do you two wanna do a puzzle? Gloria, a there puzzle? are more pressing Gloria. things. Are you ready to get Like, there are more pressing things to attend to right now, Gloria. I get it, okay? Going into labor is kind of scary. But, like, your water just broke all over the kitchen floor. Like, maybe it's time to get a little serious about this, you know? Maybe she's just like, oh, my daughter went to go get something. So, she'll... Oh my God, excuse me. She'll be back. Puzzle? A puzzle? Gloria, are you ready to give birth now? Ah. Not yet. I have to find some games for us to play. 
glorious actress is maybe, maybe deserves an Oscar for this role. Actually, not even maybe. She just does. What an incredible performance. I really believe it, you know? Dude, this old lady's nuts. Let's just go to her car. Chester gets Bro, it. Sooner or later, she's gonna give birth. If she's, she's actually- She's nuts and she deserves the freaking Oscar, baby. Deserves the Oscar. Go to her car. Bro, sooner or later, she's gonna give birth. If she's actually having a baby, we need to be here to make sure it's born properly. You could call an ambulance. <laughs> but she's too old to have a baby. Ew, not and the why would her leave? There's something sick going- <laughs> so sorry. Actually having a baby, we need to be here to make sure it's born properly. <laughs> but she's too old to have a baby. The ringing. And why would her daughter leave? There's something sick going on here. Yeah, that's what we're trying to find out. I'm gonna set up some cameras to record her. Then let's go to sleep. Oh, the cookies. Wow. The, the, the hairy, hairy. Please don't eat it. Please. Please just. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think Chester was debating it. He wanted a little, he wanted a little snack. Okay, we go to sleep. They set up the cameras. They're ready to capture things through the night. They go to sleep. You know, I think that that's the best place for her to be while she's going into labor. You know, in her own room, getting ready for it on her own time. She'll she'll start going into labor whenever she's ready. Whenever it's time. But it is one in the morning, Gloria. So, you know, any 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 minute now. Thanks for 15 months, Samamu. Oh. Oh, that doesn't bode well. Uh-oh. I just saw an orb in that room. They're not hunting for ghosts, but they surely did find one. Oh. Right. Yeah. Gloria is having a little bit of um, pre- uh, pre-labor hysteria. It's very normal in ladies of a certain age, you know? Who get pregnant um, with their husbands who have been dead for 10 years. It just happens. Totally natural. Oh my <laughs> She is so good. She's such a good... I, I just really believe her in this role. It's so good. Her dedication to the part is incredible. Oh, here she comes again. Uh-oh. That's the naughty boys room. It's a room for naughty boys. They just don't wake up. Chester puts on the sunglasses. <laughs> Dude, do you hear that? Sorry, because I didn't realize how loud this was. I love that Chester just immediately put on his sunglasses. Incredible. What's she doing? going into labor okay sometimes ladies get a little unstable before we get birth like this is a very normal pregnancy symptoms sometimes women have been known to especially if they're a little older when they get pregnant they have been known to be possessed by the spirit of a demon um and go into a bit of a furious rampage prior to giving birth it just means that you know she's probably like three centimeters dilated at this point it, it, it's fine this is totally normal not that we know, 
of course, we wouldn't even know that this is normal or not because there are no doctors in the life of luxury cinematic universe ever. There have never been a pair of doctors, a pair of doctors. There's never been a doctor in the entirety of this channel. So, you know, maybe we don't even know that, but I'm just happy to fill in some contextual clues for you guys, you know? It's the Lowy Lane life of luxury experience. Oh, she's gone. Oh, nope, she's there. Is she there? It's time for me to give birth now. It got so quiet again, sorry. Is she there? It's time for me to give birth now. Oh, she's chosen. Come on, let's go help her have this baby. Dude. <laughs> Chester's socks are still dripping wet. I think she's in here. Okay. Oh my God. Oh. Was that hair on the floor? What? What is all this? This is where she's gonna have the baby. Now come on, you're gonna help me deliver it. It's okay. Why is her stomach so high? How long is her water gonna break? It's okay, it's okay. Parker is so, he's just so supportive. Leaving my body. Oh, ah. Keep pushing. Push. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Dude, what was it? I don't know. The way that she just immediately goes limp like that with her mouth wide open is so. Is it's stuff? gone. The baby is gone. Or did it just start crawling? Oh my god, what is this? Follow it. Okay. Look! The one in there! Alright! I love I love when Parker doesn't know what to say to Chester and he just stares at him and then turns back around to make sure he really saw it's what gone. he thinks he saw. Wait, what? It's gone. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Oh, wow, they grow up so fast. What is it? It's giving outlast. open it's just such a good hiding spot actually they're really 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 resourceful these two i don't know did it follow us yes yes parker it followed you it absolutely followed you oh no it went back to mother oh why why does the mom suddenly have on a mask I don't think that's how that... I don't... That's not how that... Works. I think it's gone. Oh, here she comes. Dude, and now... There's something there. What? I just, um... You know, I am Life of Luxury's biggest fan, but this one might have even lost me. I don't I don't think I understand. What are they doing? 
I don't think I get this one. <laughs> She's just glowing after childbirth, you know what I mean? It's that like post-pregnancy glow, that new mama glow. She looks really, really good. Like, that's just a true new mother glow. Have you ever seen a woman look more beautiful? Women are so... Giving birth is just the most beautiful thing. The nature's nature cycle, the circle of life. Oh, Odyssey 8, don't worry. You came in at just the right time. So you don't worry. You just came in at the perfect time. Susie, I need you to stop. I need you to stop it right now. Susie. Ah, me. Um... <laughs> The miracle of childbirth is just so beautiful, man. Like, I, I don't know. I, I just, ugh, God. Oh, all right. Every time the Parker and Chester run out of a house, I always think that they should be holding hands while they do it. And I really think that, like, Every single episode that I watch, I'm like, oh, they're going to just hold hands and run out together. This is like the romantic moment where Parker's like, I won't leave my man behind. And Chester is like, I need you, Parker. And then they never hold hands. Stop being cowards. God. <laughs> anyway. Oh, she's fast. Let's go. Did Chester get God? It kind of looked like he got God. <laughs> we went to our car and drove home. We tried to call Lucy and Gloria to ask them if they knew what, wait, to ask them if they knew what she gave birth to. Neither of them answered. Done, done, done! Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's Yay. try to smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. Right now, we're on the road to 10 million subs, so make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you guys for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for being part of the Lux Army. Ugh. So good! So good. Absolutely incredible. You know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I felt a little confused there at certain points of this, but I, it really came together at the end. And I think just turned into a beautiful story of a mother and whatever that thing was that crawled back inside of her. Anyway, that was Life of Luxury Night. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I had so much fun hanging out with you and watching Life of Luxury. I truly, truly, truly did. Thank you so much to everyone who's popping in now. Give Gloria edibles and an Oscar. She deserves both, bro. She went into that labor, no epidural, no like pain meds, no nothing. She just ran. They now have 10 mil. They are like, they are like, I think that they will hit 10 mil it's crazy how fast they gain subscribers. It's insane. And it's so deserved. Like, like all jokes aside, like, obviously these videos are so fun and so funny to watch. But all jokes aside, they very clearly put a lot of work into these. Like, like a lot of work. They have to find these locations. There's so much set shit. And they're so ridiculous every single time. It's beautiful. It was so beautiful. You always show us the best stuff. Robin, I'll keep doing it forever, baby. Good gravy. I love it. Okay, so um, I will hopefully catch you guys for another stream this week. I'm going to be trying to stream at least two times a week during the month of October. Um, maybe not every stream will be scary stuff or even like Life of Luxury is like horror adjacent, you know? Well, I would call these horror videos. Like, I would post these as, like, main channel videos because 
like as much as yes they're they're clearly like supposed to be funny sorry i was pushing my mic back um as much as these videos are very clearly supposed to be funny like i love the horror aspect like the bad horror movie aspect to it i'll look into the bunny graveyard jamila i'll have to add that to the list i'll look into it um but yeah hopefully i will have another stream for you this week and then new videos are coming this week you guys know it's my month um it is it is my halloween season um and in uh um you know it's it's also kind of a hard month for me um which i won't get into and i didn't post anything prior to um the stream just so it wouldn't come up but um, this month is kind of a tough one for me and sometimes I will make these lofty goals of like trying to post X amounts a week and whatever um, and I really don't meet them because I, I end up having kind of a hard time emotionally but um, I think I'm in a different place this year than I have been in years past I hope but uh, regardless you know I'm taking care of myself. I'm going to go play some Baldur's Gate 3, baby. I'm going to go play that Baldur's Gate 3. going to go see my man. My man. I'm going to go see my husband. Um, I can't wait to see my man. And I'm going to make some dinner. And I'm going to just try to stay afloat for the next 30 days. But I will see you a lot here on YouTube and all over the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon in my next video and in my next stream and all that. Until then, good night, good night, goodbye. Thank you for being here. Thank you mods for modding. If you join the memberships tonight, don't forget, check out your members only video playlist. Anna Louise, thank you so much for that super chat. Take a moment if you need it, you deserve it. I love you so much. I love you so much, I will. I'm not going to push myself, I promise. And then Kailantis, thank you so much for that super chat as well. Forehead kiss for you too. Okay. All right. Goodbye.